Everybody, how are you doing? I'm Matthew here for my self-publishing blueprint, and uh, in today's video, I want to talk about how to make money with Kindle publishing in 2018. All right, hey, if you're brand new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you get updated on when I post new videos on three really th three things that I teach you here to do on this channel: how to build your income, how to create freedom for yourself, and then how to design that ultimate lifestyle. Kindle publishing has done exactly that. It's built free. It's built income for myself. It's created freedom for me and my family, and it's really helped shape the type of lifestyle that we have right now. Um, I'm down here in Mexico, and I'm, I'm from Canada originally. If you if you don't know where you know if you, you're brand new to this, I'm from Canada, me and my wife and uh, you know our little baby, and she's not little. She's two, and uh, we got another one on the way here in a few months. Um, we have a passive income mainly from our, my Kindle publishing business and that's allowed us to live down here in Monterey. We're not on the beach, but uh, you know, down here in Monterey, Mexico. So let's talk about what Kindle publishing is. And in this video, I'm going to keep it very basic for you. Um, I was inspired to do this video. I'm not, not even going to lie. I was inspired to do this video. Um, one of the guys that that I follow did a video very similar to this and and uh, I watched it and it, it was cool seeing him talk about Kindle publishing again and his video was it was it was spot on because there's two ways that you can really make money and succeed with Kindle publishing and that's that's the thing that really I don't fully understand why um, I guess you call it the YouTubers that talk about publishing and and, and whatnot why they don't just admit that there's 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 two ways of doing it and they're both right you, it's like on one side it's a spectrum right you talk about you you got the kindle publishing um system where you you want to build a brand and use social media to market and in all of this long-term thing right and then you have People on the other side who are like, you, you don't need to do any email marketing. You don't have to use any social media. You don't have to do anything like that. You just have to find the right keywords, build your your, your keyword pyramid, and then um, you know get your reviews and and you, you're you're good to go. But both work. Both work, and I'm going to break it down and show you um, the way that I've been teaching students, the way I've been doing it, and. Um, really just kind of hold nothing back because it's kind of like what I like to do on this channel. So let's uh, let's dive into it. All right, so how to make Kindle, how to make money with Kindle Publishing, right? All right, I got my notes on my computer there. And um, so here's what I'm gonna do for you because I talked about there's, you know, there's there's two two sides, right? There's There's two different ways of people promoting how you can make money with Kindle Publishing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, hopefully I don't get confused, I'm going to use the blue pen for the general stuff that you have to do whether you're starting or, 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 or not. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the black pen for one method and then the green pen money for another way. So stay with me. The colors will make sense providing I don't get confused myself. So. Let's dive into it. And first off, now, Kindle publishing. What is Kindle publishing? Kindle publishing is not just um, Kindle eBooks anymore. Um, back in the day, 2012, 13, 14, 15, you could publish Kindle eBooks and make a killing, make a killing. And the reason you could do that because the market was so new. Nowadays, us publishers, marketers, we do what we do best. We ruin everything. And so now it's ten times more competitive. It's it's um, you know Amazon of, of of course has changed and just the overall society and and the overall market just has shifted a little bit as well. So Kindle publishing is not just Kindle anymore. It it, it also entails paperback paperback books. So like your traditional books. It also entails audiobooks, and it also entails going off of Amazon and using other. Uh, publishing methods or other publishing platforms that are available to you as well. So it's not just Kindle eBooks because who's excited about making two dollars off one eBook sale? Nobody. Okay, nobody is. 
So I'm going to talk about both methods. Stay with me. Um, if you're confused already, let me know you're confused in the comments and I will be sure to get you back on track. So very first, here's what we're going to do. You need your product or your asset up on Amazon. So your product or your asset, and what is that going to be? That's going to be three things. That is going to be your ebook, your paperback book, and your your audiobook. These three things right here. is one product or asset, whatever you want to call it, okay? Now, why do you want three? The reason being is this. If you were just to publish your ebook, so you have this idea, you just publish your one ebook, okay? You price that ebook, $2.99, whatever price you want to have it at. You're only going to earn a couple of dollars from that. Your paperback, though, you're able to price it at $10.99, $12.99, some, some of my students inside my self-publishing blueprint, their paperbacks are priced as high as $40. So you're able to earn, instead of $2 off an ebook, you're able to earn seven, eight, 10, 15, whatever, depending on what the price, depending on what niche you're in and whatnot, significantly a lot more for your paperback book. So that's one of the reasons you want to make sure you get your paperback published as soon as possible as well. Your audiobook. Audiobooks are one of the fastest growing areas right now. One of the fastest growing segments in the whole publishing realm is audiobook sales. So you want to make sure that you get your book on all three platforms because for some niches, for example, let's talk fiction. Fiction, most sales, most royalties come from audiobooks or sorry, come from your ebooks. They come from pages read, the Kindle Unlimited program. So having a paperback, if you're in like the romance fiction niche, is not nearly as important as it is for somebody like myself, a nonfiction publisher, a paperback, it is my bread and butter. I'd say it's probably close to 85, 90, yeah, probably 85 to 90% of my income right now is coming from paperback um, sales. And, um, Audiobook is another thing. Now, audiobook is going to depend, of course, on some markets and stuff. Like if you're in, I, I dove into a really, really technical computer computer market. Yeah, audiobooks wasn't going to be a big thing for that because it's technical. There's codes and yada, yada, yada. Just doesn't make sense, right? But paperbacks did a killing on that. Ebooks did all right, but paperbacks did a really, you know, big killing. Uh, erotica, for example. I know this kid did erotica books, okay, and audiobooks, absolute, killed it in, in, um, in, with audiobook sales, killed it, because people who are buying anything with erotica, ah, for whatever reason, they want, you know, I guess it's, it's probably mostly men, they want that sexy female voice uh, reading it to them, and, um, you know, audiobook sales were, were at the, the major part of his income. So bottom line is have your book, have your product, three different areas so you can maximize your royalties right from the beginning. Okay, so that's covered. Now let's talk about what are you going to publish your book about? So one thing that Amazon, what, what works so well with Amazon is it allows you, it allows you to use Amazon's traffic. So you're going to go on Amazon and you're going to find a niche or, or a market that you want to publish your book in. A niche or a market that you want to publish your book in. Now, I promote not going and diving into the best sellers niche because you're going to end up in the three biggest niches out there. Okay, You're going to end up in health and fitness. You're going to end up in in uh, in uh, self help, or you're going to end up in recipe books. And while those are extremely profitable niches, they are the hardest, the hardest to break into. Um, so do yourself a favor, 
stay away from those if you're starting off and, and you have less than 10 bucks published under your belt. So make up a list of stuff that you like to do and then start going and taking those ideas and say, okay, well, where does this fit in, right? Where does that fit in? So uh, cryptocurrency, super hot, right? Bitcoin, all that fun jazz, super hot niche right now. It's slightly competitive, but you know, people are making a killing in that niche. Um, so that could be the niche that you want to go into. And you're going to find, you're going to do your, your, your research and you're going to find books that have keywords. You're going to have, you're going to find books that have keywords with a BSR of less than a hundred thousand. Okay, a BSR of less than a hundred thousand. Hopefully, you can see that on the glare there. Um, the reason is this means that there's a, uh, enough traffic already going to these particular books that if you basically essentially copy what's already on there and do some other things that we'll talk about in a second, you should be able to get a piece of that traffic already. Okay, remember this. Amazon is selling over 1.6 million ebooks a day. 1.6 million ebooks a day. Okay, that's a ton of traffic. You just need a very, very small piece of this. You don't need something in the best sellers in the best sellers list. You don't need that. There's so much more traffic outside of the best sellers list that uh, you know. That, that you can go after. So once you have your, your, your market figured out, your keywords figured out, then your title and your subtitle is gonna be next. Um, title, pretty simple. I usually just leave it as a keyword. Um, subtitle, something catchy, something that, that would be captivating, that would be intriguing, um, you know, not the beginner's guide to cryptocurrency. That sucks, okay? Speak to your audience. Stand out from your competitors, okay? Um, what you don't wanna do here is just shove a whole bunch of keywords into your title. Stuff like that, just Amazon is aware of that. It, it just, it doesn't work as well anymore in this day and age. Next, um, now, depending on where you're at, I like to outsource my book. So writing, creation. So book writing, creation. I outsource all of this. I'm not a writer. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't have the patience for it. So what I do is I use freelancers in a writing company. Okay, freelancers on a writing company, and I have them create this book for me. Okay, so I lay it out. I tell them, here's here's the topic, here's the table of contents. Okay, here's how I want it. You know, this is kind of the flow I want. This is who I'm talking to. Okay, and I have them create this book for me. Okay, um, that way, I can have them create five, six, seven books at once for me versus me just doing all the research and writing it one, and, and writing one book in the time that it take them to write five or six when, when using a writing company for an example. Now, if you want to write the books yourself, you definitely can do this. Um, my model, of course, is just using Amazon as a way not to get my message out, but as a way to generate a passive income for myself. So now we got a finished book, okay? Next, you're gonna design your cover. Now you're not gonna design your cover because chances are you're not a cover designer and your cover will suck. You're gonna go to Fiverr or Upwork, pay somebody five or $10, uh, they'll de design a professional looking cover, that'll be good enough for you to get going and for you to actually make money on. Now. Once your book's selling and doing better, should you reinvest and spend 20, 30, 40, 50, I spent $100 on a cover before? Yeah, 
Of course, but once the book is already selling and getting going. So we're not gonna leave it with, with this type of cover. This is just stuff to get you going with. There's a whole nother, what do you do once your book's profitable and everything that we'll get to down the road. All right, once you've done all of this, once you've done all of this, then, okay, you wanna figure out what your keyword stack or pyramid is, okay? Your keyword stack or your pyramid. So to figure out that, you're just gonna look and you don't want to publish your book in a niche that's gonna have 30, 40, 50,000 other books in it. If you go ahead and publish your first book in a niche that has so many other books, the chances of success are very slim. Okay, you wanna start small and slowly build your way up using Amazon search results to figure that out. All right, so now we got the product, we got our asset, we're good to go. So now what do we do? Now it's time to actually market it. Marketing. So this is where things are gonna get a little different. This you're gonna to do no matter what direction you wanna take your business in. Whether you're just gonna go on the, you know, short, short term type of thing or if you're looking at building a brand and, and all of that. This you're gonna do no matter what. You have to, and this is the most important thing, doing this, not doing this properly is why 95% of publishers don't do well in their first book. You have to rank your book. What does that mean? Well, your keyword is Bitcoin. And somebody wants to find out information about Bitcoin, they're gonna type in Bitcoin into Amazon search bar. And now what's gonna happen is a whole bunch of books are gonna start appearing. You need your book to appear above everyone else's book. In order to do that, you have to rank your book. There's one way, one way to get your book ranked. It's sales. Sales is the fastest way to get your book ranked. Now, how do you get sales off the bat, okay? This is where we split up. So, one method, is VAs for swaps, hiring VAs to do swaps. Um, now, of course, you can do it manually yourself. It's a complete waste of time. Basically, you would just hire somebody to you know, say, hey, I need 20 sales for my book, okay? They're gonna go find people and they'll have 20 of their friends buy the book, they'll get it ranked with your keyword, your book will start getting some traction in Amazon. Okay, that's one way. Now, why is this black? It's not really a black hat method, but it is definitely a gray hat method, okay? This is not long-term at all. Can you make a ton of money doing this? Hell yeah. You can make a boatload of money doing this. In fact, I know people who've been able to make 10, 20, $30,000 a month just doing, we call it review swapping, okay? Now, what happens, what happens um, when they walk away from their business? Well, eventually these books lose momentum and, and die, right? They're just, they're just not as strong as outside traffic going to Amazon and purchasing the book through some methods that we'll talk about in a second. The ranking just doesn't hold as well. Amazon's getting smarter. They're starting to figure out more and more. Don't ask me how, but Amazon is learning and they're catching on to this more and more. So it's not a long-term strategy at all, but it is, it is as of what's the date today. It's February 25th, 2018. Using VAs to rank your book when you have zero emails and you're brand new to that niche, it is still, the fastest and easiest way to get your book ranked for a keyword, hands down, right? Now, 
Are there other, method, other methods in order to rank your book that work? Yes, there are, but it's a completely different, um, completely different approach to the business. And that is what you have to understand. Okay. So you do this, your, your book's ranked, boom, now it's starting to make sales. What you essentially can do right now is just rinse and repeat this cycle. Rinse and repeat this entire cycle as many times as you want to scale up your business as fast as you possibly can. Basically, the only thing that's slowing you down is the cost of creating the book, anywhere from two to three hundred dollars. Um, you know, so the cost of creating your book, that's it. You just rinse and repeat this cycle over and over and over again. You easily have, you know, a fifty to a hundred thousand dollar year or more business right there, okay? So let's talk about the other side of publishing. Ranking your book can also be done using AMS ads. So Amazon Marketing Services ads. So these are like those little sponsored or display ads that you'll see on Amazon promoting different products. It's a surefire way to rank your book. Um, you know, it does cost now. So now we're, we're up in the cost because this is gonna cost a bit of money as well. There's also another learning curve of this. I didn't figure it out for months on real, and I'm still learning how to run AMS ads properly. So there's a learning curve for it. It does take a lot longer, but you have much less risk doing things you know, with these methods. Um, another big one, social media, right? So things like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Is it possible, is it possible to promote your book on social media and get it ranked and earn an income? in 2018 with publishing, 100% yes, 100% yes. With one of my pen names, I have done zero, zero swaps, zero review swaps, and I only used social media to get it going. It took a while, but here's the difference, right? I cannot publish a book for two, three months, four months, I think the longest I did was like three and a half months and the income doesn't change with that pen name. The reason is I have emails set up, I have a social media presence, okay? And I have outside, I'm bringing traffic to Amazon. So that Amazon keeps rewarding that by boosting up your ranking. If you're bringing Amazon money, traffic, to purchase on Amazon, they do reward you by boosting up your, your book, by making it more visible, by showing it as you know, the hottest gifts or hottest new releases or um, you know, things to add to your wish list. So that totally does work, but here's the difference. This, doing stuff like this, So AMS, we won't include AMS here. This requires passion, okay? That computer niche I told you about that I got into, there is no way in hell I was doing any social media promotion with that. Uh-uh, I just don't care for it. It bores me to death, okay? I got into that niche for one reason, because it was hot, um, at the time, and it was a way to boost my income. That was it. I was not passionate about it, okay? Building, you know, if we go on Facebook, right? What, what are you gonna do on Facebook? You're gonna get a, um, a page, groups. Uh, hell, you could even run some Facebook ads. I did that for a little bit. All of those things don't make a ton of sense if you're not excited about building the brand that your books are about. So you don't have to get into publishing 
with the idea that you want to build a brand around it. If you want to get into publishing, okay, if you want to get into publishing just to make some, I don't want to call it quick money because, you know, it, a month, two months, three months, it'll still take a bit of time. But if you just want to make, you know, your, your, your business to go to, you know, five, six, seven grand a month, and then you're going to take that money and like you're going to move it into another direction with it and, you know, start whatever it is you're going to get into, right? Then don't worry about any of that, right? Just do that. Just do that. Do the blue and the black. Just do the blue and the black. All right? That's all you need to do. But, and then you're okay walking away from it. And then, you know, a year from now, like you're making like, you know, maybe two grand a month, if that, from, from, from the business. Okay, maybe nothing, maybe because your account got closed, who knows? Do the blue and the black. But if, if you want it, like for myself, I always say Kindle's gonna pay for the my 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 Porsche payment, okay. I I do the green, right? Because I want it long term. I want to be able to walk away from it and it still be able to make three, four, five grand a month. Right, with without me having to keep touching it or publishing, you know, five books a month or whatever the case is, I want to be able to walk away from it and it to actually be a business. Right. Besides, I'm building a brand. Right. What if I want to sell my brand? You can't, you can't sell this shit. You can't sell that. Like you sell that to anybody, man. They will come back and sue you once they find out that you've you know, found a bit of a, I don't want to call it a loophole, because technically it's not against Amazon's terms of service because it, it is, it's a total gray area, but man, like, like, yeah, would not, like, it, it, it's just, it's not a real business. You can't really sell it. This, when you're building more of a brand, you, you totally can't, right? Um, here's some other things that you can do. Right, um, email marketing. Right, let's let's move th things over here. Email marketing. Email marketing is another big thing. Right, once again, blue and the black. You don't need to do the email marketing. If you're just in it, you make make the cash and take off. You don't need it for the email marketing. But that's key, right? When I launch a new book, when I wa launch a new book. Why don't I have to rely on swaps? Because I have an email list. I have a general. And I have an advanced review team. Right? So I get reviews right away. I get reviews right away. This replaced that. My advanced review team. I send them the book. They have two weeks to check it out, read it. Let me know if there's any mistakes. I then they go leave reviews on Amazon. Simple. I just want that social proof. And then what do I do? I email my general list. Then I have my social media, my social media marketer, right? Yeah, I got, a, I got somebody who takes care of all my social media from a pen name. He jumps on this, okay? And this, right? And, and they get all on that. They promoted in the book. We have a whole launch plan, a whole launch plan made out to avoid this. So I don't have to touch those. So it all depends on what you do, but here's the deal. My pen name, super passionate about it, love it. I have my books up in the other room. They're framed up on the wall, love it. Passionate about it, I'm excited about it. Building a brand with it, okay, I ain't in it. For the, for the quick buck. I am in it to, to, to try to do some flashy videos. I'm in it because I really, really, I, I, I love the brand, I love the books, okay? And um, so I really hope that you're understanding that there's, there's two different ways that you can do self-publishing. We didn't even get into the next thing that I wanna talk about, okay? This is going off Amazon. Okay, can we still see me down here? All right, so off Amazon. See, like I said earlier, right? 
It's not just Kindle ebook publishing anymore. That was 2014. Okay, it's so much bigger now. But what about using places like Ingram Spark? I have one book that does about five to six hundred dollars every single freaking month on Ingram Spark. One book. That same book does about a hundred to maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks on, on Amazon. Okay? It's priced at how much is it? I don't even know. It's like twenty-six bucks, somewhere around there. Makes a killing. Love it. Has how many reviews did it have last time I checked? I can tell I can tell you all right now. It has eight reviews. 4.7 stars. That book right there is about what did I say? Like $700 total. Okay? $700 total, eight reviews. Okay, for its keyword, comes up number one. Never did any review swaps for it. Okay, purely email list, social media. I got heavy AMS ads on it. Okay, some of the keywords I pay four or five dollars for. Worth it. Totally worth it. Because I get a lot of traffic from that book. I get them on the email list because I got a sweet lead magnet. And then what happens? I email them out. And I have, I don't know how many books I have in this, in this niche now, probably about 10, 11. Okay. Then I have emails going out and promoting every single other book I have. So when they sign up a week from now, they get another email and then another, you know, right. And keep promoting the books. But then what else? Okay. So we got Ingram Spark. Okay. Hey, if you're, what, what other platforms are you using right now? Let me know in the comments. Are you using draft to digital draft to digital? Okay. Draft to digital is another one. It's only eBooks, but it's, it's a great, great way to get some additional income. Okay. Google play. Google Play, um, iBooks, Apple iBooks. Do, do you have your books on there as well, right? Because what you can actually do with these markets is you can get to markets that Amazon doesn't touch. They won't be as big, but sometimes your books will actually sell so much better here than they will over on Amazon for some reason. It's just the way it is, right? It's just the market. And another one that not a lot of people try or experiment with, um, it's a little different, but once again, it's all about building that brand. Shopify. Okay, Shopify for publishing, what? No, it's crazy talk. I have a Shopify store for my books. So one, I sell my books on there Okay, so they can buy the books on there as well because I actually make more if they buy it directly from me on Shopify and I just fulfill it on CreateSpace and send them the copy. The VA does that, my assistant, okay? Um, so I profit a bit more, okay? Because Amazon's not taking the cut anymore. Um, but then also, what do I have? A ton of other related products, probably about 100, 100, 120 or so other related products on there. Okay, just the other day, sent, sent the email out. Okay, somebody ended up buying a couple products, profited $100. They didn't even buy any books. They just bought some other products from the store. I'm not running any Facebook ads or anything like that. This is just, you know, something I'm playing around with, but it works. I know some of my students have been kind of playing around with that as well. So there's just so many other ways that you can, you can make money and you can publish. Now, once again, do you have to be doing all this to be successful with Kindle Publishing? No, not by any means. You can just do the blue and the black and rinse and repeat that. People have made a kill in doing that. But it's the short term. You're not really learning how internet marketing works, right? And when you figure out what you want to publish your books about and you get excited about it, 
This is not a ton of work. It may look like it, but it's not. And you know, how many hours do you think I spend per week, per month on this publishing business? By the way, I got like 30-ish books, 27 to 30 books. I can't remember the exact count, okay? I spend a couple hours a week. Right now, I've actually been spending a little bit more just because we're, we're making some changes and scaling things up a little bit. But, you know, like last month, made about 3,500 bucks, I think, from publishing, and I spent way less than 10 hours a month. That's not a bad return, and why? Because I, I have a social media manager, okay? I have uh, an assistant that handles pretty much 90% of my publishing needs now, right? That's what you wanna build your Kindle publishing business, your self-publishing business into. You wanna build it into something that you do all the work, you set this all up, and then you hire an assistant to run it for you, you manage them, they manage everything else, the business grows, the income grows, everyone's happy. So hey, if you wanna find out more about this, okay, my blueprint.com. it's the only course on the market that kinda of dives into all of this, all right? It'll lead you step by step to get you started. I just did a complete refresh, re-update, or students are going crazy for it. Um, so. It, it's on sale right now, so you can check it out. First link in the description, my blueprint.com And um, yeah, I'd be more than happy to help you get this created so you can start that passive stream, that, that passive stream of income, right? Get that going. So hey everybody, don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what are you doing with your Kindle publishing journey right now. Which of these didn't you think about? Which of these haven't you started implementing in your Kindle publishing business for yourself right now? I'm Mecca. Until next time, everyone, we'll speak to you all soon. Take care.